Hey guys, it's Joey up here. I just want to take this moment to go through with you the proposed topics for the upcoming Eight Mansions Masterclass. Now, a lot of you guys who are enthusiasts of feng shui would have probably come across this system of feng shui known as Pa Zha Pai or Eight Mansions Feng Shui. The other names for this system is also known as the East-West system or the four auspicious, four inauspicious system or the eight houses system. So this is the uh, usually considered the intermediate uh, technique or system of feng shui that most classical practitioners of feng shui or teachers of feng shui would teach their students. So for example, for myself, in, when I first started learning feng shui, Besides learning things about the Bagua and the five elements, you know, the basic landforms and all that, the next system or the first ever system of feng shui that talks about lei hei or energy distribution would be eight mansion system. So the thing is, uh, as a lot of people learn this system, they, they tend to have the uh, perception that because it's simple, it is just an intermediate system as they go into flying stars and Xuan Kung Dagua or San He or San Yuan Feng Shui. They tend to say, all right, just ignore everything that you learn in eight mansions. However, this is very far from the truth. There is a very, very important aspect when it comes to learning eight mansions. It is the foundation of all evergreen systems of Feng Shui. Now, when I say evergreen, this is very different than Xuan Kong or the, um, the time-based feng shui where every 20 years there's a period 8 to period 9 or period 9 to period 1 change or you have to look at the timeliness of the stars and certain years, certain elements will come into certain sectors. So it's for the common person, it's like, oh, you, you keep having to ever shift and change your feng shui, right? But the system called evergreen feng shui is that you set up the feng shui that last a lifetime and you may think yeah but lifetime many changes but here's the thing it's about going for you know there's still ups and downs in life but it's more like an upward trend it's a little bit like how you know someone invests in uh fundamental investing techniques that they um, invest in and a company that is a good company over the years it sort of compounds and grows it's like basically investing in the index okay so there are uh, correct approaches to studying eight mansions because along the way, there's this uh, um, uh, system of Xuan Kong flying stars. When flying stars became popular in the late 1800s, early 1900s, um, the Sam Chok Ying, which is the um, the author of um, Sam Si Yun Hong Hao, which is obviously the seminal classics on, on flying stars, his school propagated that the eight mansions system, Pa Zha Pai, is actually the system written by um, Yat Hong Sim Si. Yat Hong Sim Si is the grandmaster. Uh, uh, Yat Hong is a is a very high level uh, priest or, or 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 practitioner. Wrote this system as a uh, the taming of the barbarian classics. Meet Man King. Okay, Meet Man King is basically uh, back back in those days. Yuan dynasty is ruled by uh, Mongols, barbarian Mongols. The time was Genghis Khan's era. So um, shortly after the, uh, um, because that 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 dynasty was only lasted 99 years, 90 years or so in China, it's the shortest dynasty. It's believed that um, the, the great master Yat Hong wrote a fake feng shui system that is passed down and the Mongols practice it. And as a result, their, their system, their, their entire dynasty only lasted 99 years. And then um, the, the Hans, the Ming, Ming dynasty took over. Okay. Now, of course, this is only allegedly, right? For the longest time, because we all study flying stars, we thought that this story was true just because the, uh, the, the Shen group said so, right? But then upon studying, and researching, we found that this is actually not true. Yet Hong Sim Si is a, is a very honorable uh, um, practitioner of uh, not just uh, feng shui, but metaphysics, a philosopher. And uh, he's done a lot of good things for the country. Okay, he And in his works, if you read the, the, the technique, it is, yeah, the, 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 the taming of the barbarian classics has got nothing to do with the eight mansions system. 
Taming of the Barbarian Classics is written as a, a fake philosophy, not, less, not by Yat Hong Sim Si, but from some other person that uh, subsequently has been passed down to the Mongolians, whether they use it or not at that time, the barbarians, and um, whether the empire dis were destroyed, it's only legend, okay? It's not real. Eight mentioned system has been around since way before that, okay? So there are a lot of historical aspects and, and, and uh, a lot of very sound principles that originated from the study of the Baguang and the numerology of the Baguang. When you study eight mentions in details, it blends really well as if this is the big picture and the Xuan Kong Dagua, which utilizes the 64 hexagrams, is like the small Tai Chi version. So it actually blends really, 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 really well. Okay, So that's why I, I wanted to come up with this um, Eight Mansions Masterclass that addresses uh, all the different aspects starting from its origins. All right? If you ever want to learn a system from its origins, like which classics, um, um, written about this system, what it is say, and, and what's the interesting thing about the classics, then I want to go from that aspect. So it's good if you are a practitioner of metaphysics, um, you want to approach it from the classical perspective, then this will be it. But not forgetting those who like the practical aspects. So I will also address the practical applications of this system. So I want to show you right here. These are the proposed topics that um, I will be filming uh, uh, on this Eight Mentions Masterclass. And um, um, I want to tell you what is behind my plans for this program. And uh, if it interests you, I would urge you to join this uh, masterclass because then it will teach you everything about evergreen feng shui. So if you're ever worried about, oh my God, I have to change from period eight to period nine, then period nine, I'm going to worry about annual stars and all this stuff. Then this is a more practical system. It doesn't require you to keep changing the feng shui. It's just, you know, even if you're on a five below in a negative room, because it's a, a, a structure that is structured nicely. Five yellow just give you some challenges, but over time, you will still thrive because the setup is good. So it's long-term based, okay? It's like a short economic uh, um, you know, downturn doesn't destroy a good company, all right? So I want to start with the uh, first one, which is origins of the eight mansion system. So I want to go, you know, deep dive into his, its history, its origins, its um, background, and I tell you a little bit more about the um, the so-called taming of the barbarian classics and why it is not related to the eight mansions and how eight mansions are applied back in those days and what's different in today. Okay, so that's so super important, and um, you know this problem of determining facing and determining uh, the house flying star chart. You don't have that problem using eight mansions. It's quite straightforward. Eight mentions is a very straightforward and easy to use system. The problem is because it's so easy to use, people think it's, ah, it cannot be that easy. It's actually very easy, okay? And sometimes the most profound things in life are rather simple, isn't it, right? So this that's why I love the eight mentioned system. And in fact, if you learn anything about the life Gua that you have been using so far, you know, the creative and wealth palace, the uh, the social charisma, the health and well-being, all this is part of eight mentions. Eight mentioned system. A lot of people use that system, but they use the four good and four negative. And it's always, if the wife is of a different uh, gua than the husband, their directions are always different. And oh my God, then you have to sleep in different directions or or sleep in different rooms and, and all that. So it becomes impractical. And so people thought there must be a flaw. It's not a flaw because people understood it, I would say, the wrong way. And um, that's why they thought there was four good and four bad, but actually it's not, okay? So I'll tell you from the origins, how it is, how is it like? And the cosmic blueprint, well, that topic, it's understanding the eight mentions from the perspective of the early heaven and later heaven Bagua, okay? So I want to actually show you how the formulas are calculated. Do you actually know how the uh, creation of wealth palace is created? Once you understand the calculation, then you will see the similarities that is also applied in Xuan Kong Dagua, which a lot of people practice. So and my view is that Xuan Kong Dagua is largely related to eight mansions. Okay. This is my view after three decades of practice in, in, in Feng Shui. So a lot of people don't see the relation, but I want to explain to you that there is a possibility that these systems are related. Like you may say, but Xuan Kong is related to flying stars. Not really. Flying stars are moving of the stars. In Xuan Kong, the stars don't move. It's it's what we call uh, leaning stars. It's all written outside the Lopan. The Lopan doesn't change. It's fixed. So once you know the background, I want to show you from the background onwards, 
understanding the early later heaven bagua, then you will see that you can actually apply the same principle. In fact, the same principle is applied in Shuang Kong Dagua. Okay. And um, how about understanding the life, the, the house gua? Okay. So a lot of times people think, okay, my life gua is different than my spouse's life gua. Now, what do I do? It's different than the kids' life gua. There's so many life guas in the house. Oh my God. What how do I how do I actually look at the house? Well, every house has a personality. Okay, just like Chuan Kong Dagua, just like flying stars, but flying stars, you have to find the period of the house and you have to find the uh, the, the the direction and, and plot the flying star chart. The in eight mansions, there's only eight different charts, eight base charts. Once you understand the base charts, each house is like a personality, it's a gua by itself. And how the doors are open, how the chi enters the house would determine the personality of the house. And once you understand the personality of the house, it's almost like the flying star chart. The only difference is you don't need to keep changing the period. Okay, that's the thing now. Now, then you understand, okay, if I live in this house, what sort of uh, uh, capabilities will I be able to unlock and what sort of potential it has? And of course, then and only then, we end add in your own chi signature, which is your personal gua. Now, your personal gua will now overlay over the house gua and creating 64 possibilities. That's called the 64 hexagrams of the house. The same 64 hexagrams is also applied in Shuan Kung Dagua. If you're practicing the high level, so-called high level 64 hexagram method of, of feng shui, or some people call it yi jing feng shui. The eight mentions is also yi jing feng shui. It's just that many people think it's too simple, but if you like something simple and effective, then this will be a great system to learn. Okay, so this part is where I will deep dive into the personal life gua. And then at Portals of Power, I'm, I will address how do, in eight mentions, where the door is will create a significant synergy between the house, the life gua, as well as the people using this. A special hexagram method is created. This is discussed in... Um, uh, a, a book called Yong Zak Sam Yu. Okay, so the three essentials of Yang dwellings, and uh, it talks about the house guas interaction with the positioning of the 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 door. So it creates a special hexagram relationship. And another method is to look at the stove location. Now again, the stove location the, we, we call this the kitchen is the heart of the home, right? All right. So um, where the kitchen is back in the day, right? It determines how well the family lives, how long the, the longevity aspects of, of the household is. There are 64 permutations as well. How does How is that form? And these are things that is within your control. Sometimes you might not be able to control the door, but you can control where you cook or the positioning of a stove that can change that. Now, of course, um, maybe you don't cook at home, right? Then you need to look at the, uh, what I call the dynamic aspects of the eight mansions. And dynamic aspects of the eight mentions basically talks about the, uh, within eight mentions, each gua has got 15 degrees. Within the 15 degrees is the 24 mountains, right? So there is a technique called na jia, okay, lap gap, and it's actually incorporated into eight mentions, but a lot of people actually don't know this. So they think the eight mentions is only 45 degrees. It's not, it's actually 24 directions as well. And each of these plays a very important role in the setup of the house and or your personal usage. What if you're in the trials and tribulation sector? What do you do? You can't move out, but you can tune in or tune out. So there are ways to actually do that. So that's why I call it the dynamic eight mentions. And more importantly, I want to talk about the elements of the eight stars that are in eight mentions. You know, Sing Chi, which is the um, for wealth element, it has a specific star element. Even your health and well-being, there's a specific element. And how do you actually use it? Most people think in feng shui is, I'm going to put things around the house. Okay? But maybe, just maybe it's not about putting things around the house. Maybe it's just about alignment. Within a subsector, small tai chi, you can align to a certain element. Then you can use even a supposedly five ghost room or a dreaming, a, a life-threatening or, or, or what do you call that, a trials and tribulation sector in a positive way. So feng shui cures in a masterful applied way is to understand the elements. And a lot of people don't even know that eight mansions actually has elements. Okay, and finally... Uh, when I, what I call the confluence of energy is basically is using the 24 mountains and using the eight mentions, how to, dy dy in a dynamic way, 
you can deploy it. For example, if you're sitting in the five ghost direction of your boss in your organization, and you're wondering why your boss is always suspicious of you, even though you're the most honest person in your organization, and always he or she doesn't give a chance to you, is because you are in that alignment to that person. Dynamic means the Tai Chi follows the person, okay? And the confluence of energies within that, that person, where that person is, okay? So it's important for us to know how to do that. Now, for example, uh, now this technique is actually written in the classics where if the father wants to marry off the daughter, now again, this is old, old, the old days, yeah? So the daughter is not getting married at that time. By 16 years old, the fathers are panicking. So what do you do, all right? So they position the daughters in his yen nian sector, and he, the daughters will get a good chance of uh, meeting a suitor. Now, of course, you may say, I can't move my daughters, but you can move yourself, right? So there are a lot of ways you can use eight mansions creatively. And I want to discuss all this in the eight mansions masterclass. So I hope this uh, will give you a, a good understanding of, of what eight mansions a masterclass is about. And this is an opportunity and an invitation for you to sign up for this program. Now, if you are joining us, for the Feng Shui Academy membership this year as an inaugural launch of the membership this year, we are giving away this masterclass to you as part of the entire package this year. We will be launching this as an independent program later in the year, just before the, the product is almost done, then we'll be launch it as an independent product. This product itself is $1,997. It's a full-fledged Feng Shui system but we are including this as part of the bonuses for those who are joining us as the, uh, the, the pioneer members of the Feng Shui Academy membership this year, okay? So uh, the information to join the membership, it's on the uh, link that you see or the comment section right here or wherever you're watching this video or in the email. So click on this and read up all about it. And, and if this is something that you want to pursue, learning Feng Shui because the Feng Shui Academy my uh, membership also includes the Feng Shui Academy classic training modules, which is super, super interesting and includes all the basic trainings for you to become a decent practitioner is all there as well. So click on that and I'll see you inside the Feng Shui Academy membership as a pioneer member.